The animal suspected of transmitting the coronavirus to humans faces an even greater threat, extinction. Today on what is World Pangolin Day, Tom Hansen in Chicago has more on the troubled creature. At the Brookfield Zoo just outside Chicago, scientists are working around the clock to save some of the most vulnerable creatures on the planet. Meet Biggie, one of 11 white-bellied tree pangolins living here. The pangolin has spent most of its existence in obscurity, but after a group of Chinese scientists recently labeled them as the potential transmitter of the novel coronavirus, now it's at the center of a PR nightmare. What they found was a coronavirus that was very, very similar to what they're seeing now coming out of Wuhan. Scientists across the globe, including Bill Ziegler at Brookfield, have questioned the findings of the research. My concern is if we don't word it right and people become afraid of pangolins, they may go out and if they find a pangolin in the wild, in which case there is real no issue there, it's not a danger to you as far as transferring a disease, they would kill it anyway because they're afraid of it. Even though it's illegal worldwide, these odd-looking animals are heavily poached for their prized meat and their scales, which are believed to have medicinal value. Ziegler and the Consortium of Scientists hope education will save these gentle animals from disappearing. And that's our goal, uh, not only to help provide the science to conserve the species, but we want to establish a sustainable population here in North America. The stress on pangolin populations is so severe, scientists fear that over the next decade, if nothing is done, two or three of the world's eight species could disappear. Errol? All right, Tom Hansen, thank you.